Hey, Shalom, Israel. First off, I just want to say Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Kahala Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Uh, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect Akim that's out there pushing his word in sincerity and faith. Uh, I'm here in transit, uh, headed to the plantation or whatever. And uh, the spirit got on me. I just want to just say a few words, uh, random thoughts or, or whatever it may be. Uh, but I did have a scripture uh, just to kind of go into it, uh, just some thoughts. Um, so I'll just read it and, and just kind of just just share some thoughts. Uh, this is uh, in the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 12. And I'll start at verse 12. It says, and further by these, my son be admonished of making many books there is no end and much study is weariness of the flesh so we know that there's all different types of books that you can uh gain information from that you can actually um get, gain things that you can add to your life that you can apply to your life that can make you more productive or more well-rounded or whatever the case may be but with all being said, out of all those books, man, that you can um, try to rank or categorize, there's only one book that has completely stood every test of time, and that's the Bible. And uh, when you break down the word Bible, it goes, uh, it comes from the Latin word biblios or biblio, and it just means book. Because within one book, you have multiple books in the Bible. So... And furthermore, the Bible is the top rate or the top rated book is because it contains prophecy. It basically is the word of the Heavenly Father or the instruction of the Heavenly Father a lot of times before it actually even manifests. And we're seeing it happen right now, man. We're seeing the word of the Heavenly Father being made manifest on the earth in our in our uh, lifespan, man. So that's what uh, builds brothers' faith when things that we read about in the scriptures, when we see them come to pass, just like our ancient forefathers, things that they were prophesying about that have come to pass, have built our faith in the things that uh, have, uh, was written aforetime that haven't come to pass, as we see them come to pass, that builds our faith. But much study of all of these other books, man, that's the weariness of the flesh. Now... The scriptures tells you in uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 15, study to show thyself approved. So, of course, you got to study, but you got to know what you're studying. The main thing that you should be studying is the Bible. I think it was President Theodore Roosevelt. He says that um, an understanding of the Bible is way more valuable than having a, a college education. So, with that being said, of course, you know, we always go into the balance of things, man. The scripture says that we have an, an unction to know all things. So there's other different types of knowledge uh, outside of the Bible that brothers might uh, go into for certain things. But the main thing uh, to take away from this is you have to filter everything through the scriptures. You know, the scriptures tells you in Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony If you speak not according to the word It's because there is no light in you So of course There are certain other books That we can get things from And learn from man That's that's not what's being said But the Bible That's the top book of all man And on top of that On top of being a book of law Statutes Commandment Prophecy It's a historical document It's a history book man The Bible uh, it, it, uh, it, It's a true history book as well that's why all of these uh, so-called Bible scholars and Esau uses uh, archaeologists, they'll uh, go into certain things in the Bible. And because Esau, he's a carnal man, he doesn't live by faith. They'll go to certain parts of the world to, to try to qualify things that are written in the Bible if they're true. And the Bible never comes up short, man. It's undefeated, man. You know? Over, over the over the course of, of history And much studiness is a weariness of flesh Because going into all of those books, man And all of those different philosophies If you're not really grounded 
you know, in, in, the, in the true spirit of righteousness via the Bible, if you're not grounded in the true uh, standard, those other uh, philosophies and different types of uh, so-called knowledge can bug you out, man. You know, because our people like to uh, overcomplicate things, man. They think that the most high is just this uh, highly overcomplicated being. Now, we do understand that the most high's thoughts are not our thoughts. It tells you that in Isaiah 55 and 8. But we also know uh, the scriptures talk about the simplicity of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. You know? So the Lord, he always gave simple instructions, man. Now, within this world, and we know that we within flesh, it's a constant war between spirit and flesh. So it's hard in this, in this body sometimes to do everything that you're required to do. You know, that's uh, according to the scriptures. But uh, uh, nonetheless, it's simple instruction. Because our people think this thing is supposed to be just too deep. You know what I'm saying? They're, like the Apostle Gabal always says, keep it simple, man. Stay one deep. Now, we know that the scriptures talk about the mysteries of the kingdom or the mysteries uh, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, the mysteries of this Bible only going to be given to the elect. So there are things that are hard to be understood but f for those who are, are supposed to get it man this thing is easy man you know so that's for brothers that's coming into this faith man i, I know the knowledge is going to be everything is on a, on a quicker level every every man that comes into the faith as we get closer to the end is going to be of a quicker understanding but in order to really last and be prepared to endure in your in your in your walk man just keep it simple, man. Just stick to the basics. The scriptures talk about design the sincere milk. But not to get too far off topic, I'm going to just go to verse 13. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the most high and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man. So that's simple and plain, man. The scriptures talk about in Ecclesiastes uh, that the fear of uh, of the most high that's the beginning of wisdom and it says this is the conclusion of the whole matter and furthermore this is the whole duty of men just fear the most high and keep the commandments now we know that we rehearse the righteous acts right now because we're in this sinful flesh there's certain things in the law that we can't keep perfectly and also because we're in our captivity man there's certain things and certain ordinances and, and just certain things within the way we keep our sabbath and our high holy days that we can't execute perfectly on this side but the things that we can do, you do it to the best of your ability. Like every man has the ability not to commit adultery. By not sleeping with a, a, a woman who already has a man. By keeping a beard on your face. By not eating um, pork and all of these other abominable foods, man. You know? By not committing murder, slander, being a, a damn thief. You know? So on and so forth. Being a homosexual. There's certain things within the law that you can do, man. But our people, they'll even use the fact that, you know, we're in this sinful flesh uh, to justify wickedness, man. But we know that the scriptures talks about in Ecclesiasticus uh, in the Apocrypha or Sirach that the Most High, had, he hadn't given any man license to sin, you know. So that's the whole duty of man is to fear the Most High. And, and we know that's a big problem on the earth today, man. There's no fear of the Heavenly Father, man. People are in, are in a complete freefall mode. That do as thou wilt spirit has just plagued the planet earth. And furthermore, the Lord's people. Because the, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you were given the standard of uprightness. You were given the standard of righteousness. And you were supposed to be a beacon of light uh, amongst all these other nations, man. But that's why... Uh, the hopeful elect, the men, the prophets, the servant of the Lord, the servants of the Lord that go out and preach this truth. We're compelling our people to come back to the Lord, man, to repent just as we had to do, man. And being washed away from the filth that's within the world, man. Because we understand that time is at hand, you know. Repent for the, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And we know that the wages of sin is death. We're trying to live. I'll read the last uh, verse in this chapter. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 14. It says, For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So, even though you got a lot of scoffers and naysayers 
and, and unbelievers, man, at the end of the day, man, someone's going to be right and someone's going to be wrong. We all going to have to give an account for the things that we're doing in these bodies, man, in this flesh. Like it tells you in 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter, man, we all are going to have to appear before the judgment seat. And our deeds are going to be judged, man. They're going to be weighed on the balance, whether we've done good or whether we've done bad. So that's the important takeaway from all of this, you know, because it's too much on the line to be playing games, especially uh, that uh, the word is being pushed at an exponential rate right now. Apostle Tahar, he's totally in the spirit, man, when he says that, hey, the elect is sealed up, man, and, and I, I'm starting to understand that more and more day for day, man. It's only a matter of time, uh, uh, prophecy-wise, there's certain prophecies that have to come into play in its fullness before everything uh, really uh, starts uh, playing out as far as the destruction of Great Babylon and, and uh, uh, salvation of the elect. But we know that we're uh, that much more closer, man. It's even uh, closer than when we first believed, man, you know? So with all being said, man, just keep it simple, man. Just walk and just keep the simple instruction of the Most High, man. Keep it basic, man. You know, fear the Most High, keep His commandments. You know, cherish the brotherhood. And just uh, uh, consider always that whatever deeds you're doing in this flesh, man, is going to come a time where it's going to be weighed in the balance. And we're trying to uh, come out on the right side of the balance. Meaning receive mercy when the Lord comes back So with all being said I'm going to focus on this road man You know I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakodash Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone Who taught us this truth Shalom, peace and blessings to the sincere hopeful elect Akim Keep pushing his word in sincerity and faith